welcome to my channel Dash of Home. If you are new here, my name is Ashley and I am a homeschool mom to three kids. I have a nine-year-old daughter, a seven-year-old daughter, and a three-year-old son. In today's video, I am showing you some of our spring refresh items. I have items from Amazon, the book outlet that I just got to kind of refresh our homeschool, refresh my house, um, and kind of get us through the rest of our school year until summer. So today's video is actually a collab with a bunch of other moms and it is hosted by Gina B Homeschool. I will link her page and the playlist with all the other moms down below. Gina is so sweet. I'm so excited to be doing this collab with her. Um, she was one of like the first YouTubers I like started watching consistently and watched all of her videos. So it's super awesome to be kind of like partnering up with her. Uh, so make sure that you check out her page and all of the other videos right. in the playlist. So if you well. saw my video I posted earlier this week, I did a huge haul from the book outlet. I have a separate video on all of the books that I ordered, but I did save craft items that I purchased because to me they're more spring related and so I wanted to share them here. We'll start with my book outlet stuff. So these are like crafts, um, science, art type things, okay? The first item I got is a paint by numbers. And so you can see it's this really pretty like floral design. If you've never tried um, a paint by numbers with your kid, they are so much fun because it's like a paint by numbers coloring page. It has the painting kind of in like, I don't know if you can see it, but like a, like a light black gray lines and then it has all the numbers. And so when you open it up, each paint color is a different number. And so they can paint this really pretty picture with pretty much instruction. And so we got like a three pack from Sam's Club about two months ago and my daughters just loved it. Even I loved it. It's super fun. Um, so I got some more artsy ones as well. So I got this flower one, a, a hummingbird one. So again, very springy and pretty. I'm hoping my daughters will do these in the next week or so. So then I can use these as some of our spring decorations. Okay. This one actually opens up so I can show you a little bit more. So you see the canvas, then all of the paints are numbered. It comes with like the instructions you need. Um, and I'm telling you, it was super easy. The hardest part was literally opening up these little paint things. Um, they're just hard to open and these ones don't have as many colors. The ones we did about a month ago, there was probably like 30 to 40 <laughs> different paint colors and so just opening those up um, was a chore but these ones don't have as many paint colors so these shouldn't be that bad really colorful zebra painting it's a little bit bigger um, this one seems a lot more like detailed if you like look how many numbers and how thin the lines are and so they give you like different paint brushes this is just gonna turn out so pretty. So I cannot wait until this one is done, okay? So those are gonna be some of like our fun art painting type activities. And then I've got some like science STEM type lab kits. If we're actually going to get through all of these or use them before summer, it might even be something we do over the summer um, since we won't be doing our normal school every day. Uh, so this one is Amazing Earth. It's a book and science kit. So this one comes with some books as well as some experiments. So you learn about earthquakes, volcanoes, lightning, thunder, weather, tornadoes, global warming. And so I might hold on to this one and match it up with some of the science we're gonna be doing next year. But I wanna say I paid like maybe five to seven dollars for these kits, and so you just couldn't beat the price. Um, I love when everything comes packaged and instructions. It makes crafts easier because we can just grab the box and go. Onion STEM Lab Kit. And so this is 25 easy and fun to do activities. Um, it comes with everything that you need. So this is like a pack of all the stuff you need. And then this is like a huge book that you can actually separate. So you can actually pull this book out and keep it. And then it will tell you everything that you need once you use it. So I thought that this would be fun. 
Again, I, I don't really know if we'll get to all of these or some of these by the end of the school year, but I thought that this was good to have. This retails for $24.95, and again, I think I paid between $5 to $7 for it, so you can't beat the book outlet prices on like craft activity type things. The last one I got is Epic Science at Home, over 10 hours of, a, of activities, STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. This one, build rubber band helicopters, make rockets fly. And so again, just another little kit um, that I thought would be fun. So this one, like blowing up balloons, um, and it comes with everything that you need, okay? So just to stock up on some of those, so all of those items I just showed, I got at the book outlet. If you've never shopped at the book outlet, it's a huge discount book, art, craft, um, online store. If you have never ordered, I can offer you $5 off your first order. I do have a referral link that's linked down below. It does have to be your first order though. Um, if you end up using it and get $5 off your order, I also get $5 in book credits and I turn around and buy more items to share with you guys. The next things that I'm gonna show you, these are all from Amazon. And so I just kind of did a quick little Amazon haul to get some spring books, some spring decorations, and a couple other um, items. So the two books that I got for spring, um, this one is Spring Stinks. So it looks like a grumpy little bear and a cheery little rabbit. And so it looks like the bunny is excited for spring and maybe the bear is not so excited. So this one had really good ratings um, when I was searching. It is a Disney publication book, so we will see how this turns out, but I thought it was cute. If you've seen my other videos, you know when I like characters are kind of grumpy and <laughs> it makes us laugh and I kind of like to see how it ends up being in the story. This book I got, it's called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. It's not hardcover, it is paperback, um, but I just love all the pictures of the animals. It shows you what's going down, going on down in the dirt and up on the ground. So kind of two different versions. You tend to see what's happening, you know, up top a lot, but you don't really um, pay attention. There's obviously roots that are getting watered and all of that. So I thought that this would be good for spring as well. I really like the illustrations of that. So those are the two books that we are adding to our spring board I'll probably um what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to plan a like spring weekend day in the life where you kind of see what I do over the weekend and in that video I'm going to be showing all of these items like kind of organizing them putting them up and then also my normal like springtime decorations around the house so I'll kind of do like a day in the life weekend spring refresh video as well the next item that I got from Amazon and these, if you ever have to take any of my recommendations or buy anything I tell you to buy, it is these things. They are magnet book, um, like bookmarks, okay? These ones are like, they're cute and decorated. I got these ones more for my daughters, but I have used them all the time. They are super inexpensive. They come in, as you can see, tons of different colors, varieties. There's tons of brands. I'll link um, my favorite ones that are just plain colored uh, down below. Marks, and so they're just like little magnet tabs. So there's two sides and you just clip it over your page and it just, it stays in place. So I know my kids with like bookmarks, paper ones, they always fall out. They get lost as they're carrying their books. These stay in place. So we use these in all of our curriculum books. We use these in our planners, we use them in our binders, and we use them for our reading books because they're just so easy and they don't get lost and you can open up right to your page. So magnet bookmarks are my like 100%, you have to have these top pick and these are just some like cute designs that we got this time around, okay? Make sure you read the reviews um, because Amazon has tons of different options. I have gotten a couple of bad ones that were like at a lower price point that don't, the magnet's not strong, so then they're kind of flimsy. So just make sure you read um, if you start searching around, but I will um, tag my favorite ones down below in the links, okay? 
right, the next thing I got is just some like cute little spring banners. Um, I like to just add some banners in our homeschool area just to kind of make it fun and fresh. And so this one is like, you know, one of like the little flag banners and it just says spring. Um, I want to decorate for spring this weekend. It just turned March. And so I want to get our spring stuff up and I'll probably leave spring stuff out. And then um, as it gets closer to April is when I'll add in our Easter decorations. Okay. So I got that banner and then there's also it came with these cute little flowers which also look like they're strung on a banner. So I'll either keep it as a banner or they're just like little felt decorations. I might just cut them and stick them on like on our boards and stuff. I haven't fully decided yet. But I got both of these banners for $7.99. Um, and I'll, these are, the reason I have been buying a lot of these is we don't have anything for our homeschool room. And so um, I won't have to buy this kind of stuff next year. So I'm kind of just like stockpiling this year and then we'll have it um, for the rest, you know, homeschooling going forward, okay? I also love plants, but we've had to move all of our plants upstairs because um, we got a puppy about six, seven months ago and he just loves dirt and eating plants. And so we've moved them all upstairs because he doesn't come upstairs. Um, but on that same note, I've kind of switched back to buying a lot of artificial plants. And so um, I found these in on Target's uh, Bullseye. Well, I found them online, but they're part of their like little, you know, dollar spot. And so I bought a four pack of them. They're just like little vases, little succulents, and they're super cute. But these are like hard. They're really heavy and like clay. And so they won't get knocked over easily. And so I really, um, I really liked the quality of these. And they're very neutral. So I mean, I could actually leave these up year round, but I just thought this would be fun to add a little springy, um, fresh into our like homeschool room. And then this one is super cute. So like a speckled little vase. And again, these are hard, cute. And you know, these won't die. <laughs> so that's always a plus. Um, so I got those from Target. And then the last things that I want to show you are like mom self-care items. Um, I tend to not, I, I just tend to buy a lot of stuff for my kids, for homeschool. But I did um, not even splurge because these things weren't that expensive. But I did get a couple items for myself. This new skincare, it's not new skincare, it's new to me. It's called Bliss. And so I got these two um, little items. Bliss, this is a green tea face mask. Um, it's really pretty because it's like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it on camera, but it's like green and shimmery, um, but it's like a light overnight mask that you put on your face. Um, it does help clear up like acne and like skin congestion, which I do struggle with. Um, so I've been using this for about a week. I really like it. Um, and then I got their like hydrator. And so I've been using this in the morning and I really like this as well. So they just kind of gave me like spring vibes, spring refresh, and they're pretty good price points. I want to say these are around $10 each. So not horrible on pricing for like good skincare. I am by no means a beauty skincare expert at all. So do not take my advice. I'm just sharing stuff that I got and that I like. Now, if you notice, my hair is um, super curly and a little bit curled different than I normally um, do it. I um, found on one of a, another homeschool mom I follow, she was posting that she's been trying to use less heat on her hair. And so she got the this brand, it's called Octo Curl. And so it's heatless curling. And so it's like an octopus hair <laughs> thing okay and so basically you wrap this around your head and I'm, I don't want to mess with my hair but you like wrap it around like this and then you wrap your hair around these like strands and depending how you wrap it um, depends on what kind of curls you get and so I did this last night um I think and I again I'm not like a beauty expert but I think my hair was too wet because I showered last night and then I wrapped it I think I should have let my hair dry a little bit more because it was still wet this morning um also, it wasn't, I mean, it was comfortable to sleep in, but it was kind of annoying. So um, I'll probably try it on the weekend. I'll shower in the morning, let my hair air dry for a little bit, and then wrap it around and see what it looks like after a couple of hours. 
And so no heat, no blow dryer, which, um, you know, just really helps your hair stay healthy. And so I think this is a good option. Um, I've had my hair curled like this now since I woke up at five this morning and it's now um, around noon. So the curls are not falling, which is super awesome. So um, yeah, I thought this was fun. You can um, go to their website, Octo Curl, or I found you know them on Amazon. They have them for long hair, short hair. They have silk ones. Um, this is a microfiber one and my hair is not frizzy and my hair can get super frizzy because I have like a natural wave to it. Um, so yeah. So that is my like spring refresh haul. Um, I just kind of wanted to share some fun items I got with you guys. Um, we are getting excited because it's like our last stretch um till the rest of the school year so we're not really taking any more um, vacations or breaks and so we are going to full-on homeschool march april may for those three months straight and try to get through the rest of our curriculum and then we're going to take um, may and june off so i have um, a couple more update videos on like what we're going to be focusing on for the rest of the year so please make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on all of those videos um, if you have any questions about anything that i showed today make sure that you leave a comment and i will try to get everything linked but if i forget to put a link just leave me a comment and i will get it thanks for watching guys i will talk to you soon bye